I'm uh, Ron Cirillo. I'm the head of technology for Oxford Properties globally. My name is Srin Patel. Uh, I'm the director of technology and cybersecurity at Oxford Properties. We're a global real estate firm uh, with over $80 billion in assets. We have hundreds of buildings and all sorts of asset classes all over the world. Over the last decade or so, we've seen a proliferation of smart technologies, IoT technologies, and the buildings themselves are becoming increasingly reliant on digital solutions, and those solutions are subject to and are, are vulnerable to attack and disruption. We inherited uh, a ton of buildings with you know, a variety of kind of standalone solutions and networks. And one of the early things we worked with Fortinet to do was to converge networks at sites, build a good, strong perimeter defense around them, get visibility into data flows and traffic, and really try for the first time to get a consolidated view of the technologies we had installed, the communications between them, and to get a feeling for, you know, where we might be exposed kind of from a network perspective. So we use the Fortinet kind of next generation firewalls. We're using Fortinet wireless access points. We're using the kind of built-in kind of native intrusion detection capabilities. We've got the kind of 40 SOC, uh, 40 analyzer. So we're kind of using that stack right now. We've deployed the firewalls in large commercial buildings uh, across multiple cities, Toronto, New York, multifamily residential uh, across Canada. Um, large malls such as Yorkdale Shopping Mall and Square One Shopping Center, um, some of the biggest malls in North America. In each case, the deployment's been seamless. We've, you know, in terms of architecture, it's all been consistent. Um, and, and again, goes back to one of the reasons that we went with Fortinet. We were able to build a consistent process. It was very scalable. It gives architectural flexibility. And regardless of where we deployed it, we can manage it from our head office. Uh, without having to have staff and boots on the ground. We have a high confidence that you know most known malicious things will, will get blocked and won't enter the environment. We're in a phenomenally better place than we were, I'd say, three years ago. Um, I also feel better about our ability to take action on things centrally uh, and to automate some of those activities. One of the things that we wanted to do was to ensure that we modernize our systems to prepare for the shift to the cloud and IoT. Uh, so the Fortinet fabric played a key part in that for Oxford. We wanted to make sure that we had better visibility over our networks and we were able to internalize that. So the Fortinet firewalls um, and fabric allowed us to do that uh, by allowing us to cost effectively monitor multiple disparate sites, do that zero touch so we could have a team that effectively managed that remotely um, and allow the people on the ground to kind of do some of the smaller things and, and really reduce our TCO while improving our security posture. Across the portfolio, we were able to cut our MSP costs over 50% um, by narrowing down what we needed. Um, in particular, most managed service providers on the network or even SOC side are focused on an IT environment where the risk appetite tends to be uh, much more conservative. Another key thing with Fortinet is we needed to have technology that was platform agnostic. Fortinet and the fabric generally works with all types of different traditional IT equipment, but also works well with OT equipment. One of the things we want to do is have a consistent stack so we can get economies of scale with purchasing, simplify processes, and so having something like Fortinet that has kind of a scalable mod modular architecture uh, was very important for us. In the future, as we start to move towards more of an IoT architecture, we have the flexibility of using SD-WAN to connect our sites without any additional cost since that comes with the technology. I think I'd like to see us get to a place where less of our focus is on doing kind of basic foundational things, which obviously have to be done really well, and, and where there's more focus on things like automation, on orchestration, you know, kind of building those capabilities that will allow us to scale without having to necessarily grow the team uh, too much. It's been a really great partnership with Fortinet over the past kind of three years. We've had nothing but positive experiences. We're really pleased with the solutions we've deployed, and I think it's a partnership that will continue to grow uh, over time.